Okay, trainees, listen up. We have a long week ahead of us, and I need you guys to pay attention. We are gonna have our sprouts coming in soon enough to our camp. Sprouts? Ew, that's disgusting. I thought we were earning fruit badges, not vegetable badges. Here, don't be silly. Our sprouts are our youngest campers. They require a lot of attention, a lot of time. So please step it up. Whoa, 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 wait. Baby campers? For real? Are you serious? Yeah. Why? That's terrifying. I don't even know how to change diapers. Plus, they have beady little eyes that will pierce to your soul. Michael, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. These sprouts are going to be adorable. I can't wait to meet them. Mm. Camp Canceler Danny. When are these sprouts arriving? Mm. Well, hmm. if you calculate the three hour difference triangulated by the current bus schedule and carry the two, multiply the angle of the wind by three, if you, it's gonna be a- Can't cancel a day! Oh, okay, yes, Um, they arrive tomorrow. <gasps> oh, I can't wait. I know. Oh, yes. Okay, so if there's no more questions, let's move on to the next order of business, which, we're halfway through the summer, and meaning it's time for our big hiking expeditions to Firefall Canyon. Yes! Okay. Woo! Are you serious? Firefall Canyons? I have read so many books on Firefall Canyons. It's actually one of the main reasons I even came to Camp Makeaway. I can't believe it's time for the expedition. Wow. She's not even breathing. That's exciting. Okay. Well, it's a camp tradition to choose a junior camp counselor trainee at this time. So, this year, we are going to choose... Please let it be me, please. Melissa! What? Me? Really? Are you serious? I mean, yeah. It's so cool. I can totally handle it. Okay, well, that settles that. Um, last order of business, mm -hmm. we will be working towards our kindness badge. So, let's all encourage kindness amongst all campers, and also it's up to you to communicate exciting news to the campers. So, let's get to it. Junior camp counselors, you are dismissed. All right? Okay. Listen up, campers. I have some important camp stuff to tell you. Hey girls, guess what? Tomorrow we're gonna go on a hike to Firefall Canyon! Yeah! yeah. 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 Hello. Secondly, we are working on our kindness badge. So can you please be so kind to flush the toilet after you use it? Yeah. And one more piece of news. We are going to be joined by... Younger campers! Called Sprouts. Ooh. Which... We need to baby proof this, but we can do that tomorrow. All right, guys, go ahead and get some rest because tomorrow's a big day. Good night, girls. All right, gents, rest up. See you in the morning. Seriously, baby campers? Summer's ruined. Relax, bro, it's gonna be fine. No way, we're not gonna have any fun. They're gonna be way too worried on the safety of the sprouts. This blows. Well, let's not focus on that. Let's just get some sleep for our hike tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. Rise and shine, boys! It is morning and the sun is out. Breakfast in the mess hall in 15 minutes and get your hiking gear. I say again, hiking gear in 15 minutes. Wake up. <sighs> Dude, what happened to your face? Man, you don't look better yourself in the morning? No, I mean seriously, you have like red spots everywhere. Oh no, this must be because of the blanket I used um, last night. I'm allergic to some fabrics. Yeah, right bro, I think it might be a little bit contagious. I don't want to get sick.
Hey guys! Whoa! Caleb! Are you okay? What's yeah, going on? I'm fine. I'm just having an allergic reaction. This always happens to me at home. And I already took the medicine for it. Uh, sir, you're not fine. That what? looks weird. No, I, I think... am. Sir, you know what? Best, best case, we're just gonna ask you to sit out of the hike. <sighs> just take a seat. Relax. It's okay. Man, this just isn't fair. Let's get a nurse to check on. See, I told you guys he looks contagious. Ew, I don't want to get infected. Yeah, let's go before he sits with us. Yeah, let's go get ready for the hike. Hello, campers! It is my pleasure and honor to introduce this summer's cutest campers, the Sprouts. Dun, dun, dun. Meet Lauren and Eli and Jacob. Say hi, guys. Hi, look at their faces. They're probably gonna want hugs. I gotta get out of here. I'm gonna go help out the other campers with the hike. Bye, guys! Hi, welcome, Sprouts. Why don't you guys grab a seat and we'll get you assigned to your bunks in a bit. Yeah, and don't worry, little guys. I'll help you up on the chairs, okay? We can sit on the chairs ourselves. Oh, okay, all right, come on, let's go. To the chairs. Hi, I'm Elijah. Oh, great. They leave me with the baby campers. Do you have allergies? No, I'm allergic to cats. <gasps> See you later. Aw, you precious little campers. Do you guys want to play a game? Yeah. Yeah. Howdy, y'all. I'm Wyatt Army Land. Owner of the biggest watermelon ranch this side of the Rio Grande. You're just in time to play one of my favorite games here at the ranch. In just a second, you're gonna see big old pile of watermelons. Now, there's gonna be something cool behind all them melons. As soon as you figure out what it is, just shout it out. I right, let's get to it. Remember, just shout it out if you know what it is. It's beeswax! Now, that reminds me. Here's a little hint to help you out. All the items hidden behind these melons rhyme with a book of the Bible. Uh, for example, beeswax reminds me of the book of Acts. Uh, let's try another one. What is it? It's tennis shoes! Uh, for some reason, tennis shoes always make me think of the book of Hebrews. I think y'all are getting the hang of this. Ooh, I think I know what this is. Do you? It's cherry pie! Mm-mm-mm, yummy! I do love a nice slice of cherry pie when I'm reading the book of Malachi! Now, what do you think this is? It's cucumbers! Now, we also grow a lot of cucumbers here on the ranch. And every time I'm counting the cucumbers, it reminds me of the book of numbers. What are we looking at here? It's a gas station. Oh, I, I tell you what. Every time I take the old truck to fill her up at the gas station, I can't help but think of the book of Revelation. Alrighty, looks like we're on our last pile of watermelons. Hey, 
Oh boy, I know what we've got here. Do you? It's fudge. And I don't know about you, but I can't help but think of the Book of Judges whenever I'm taste testing different fudges. Well, I hope y'all come back now and play this game again with us real soon. Attention, attention! The time we have all been waiting for is here. We are going to hike all the way to Firefall Canyon! Yeah! Yeah! Yes, very exciting, and I have prepared a plethora of fun facts to share along the way. So, let's... Oh, you look so excited, but don't forget that you're hanging back and not joining us on the hike. But everyone else, it's time to line up. So, grizzly bears over here, and team platypus over there. All right, let's do it. Let's go, bears. Okay. Yep, it's time to file out. Let's go. Roll out, bears. Have fun with the lunch lady. Yo, Caleb, catch. Are you really gonna leave him like this? What? Look at him, he looks so sad. Oh, well, I, um, why don't we see how we can cheer him up? Why don't you go take a seat? Hey, Melissa, we're waiting for you. I know, um, but I think I'm gonna hang back here. Wait, what? But you've been looking forward to this, all your research. I know, don't remind me. But we can't expect the campers to show kindness if we don't do it first. Will you lead the expedition for me? Of course. Okay, um, I think maybe you should share this story while you're there. Great idea, all right, see you soon. <sighs> Any room for me on this couch? Yeah. Aw, thanks. So guys, what should we do first? Hit the game room or sneak into the kitchen for ice cream? I don't get it. What? Wh why are you being so nice to me? Michael told us that you were leading the hike and that you were so excited about it. Yeah, I was. I was excited, but this little guy helped me realize that we all need some kindness. You mean the baby camper? My name's Elijah. Oh, right, sorry. It's cool, you can call me Eli. Well, I know at Camp Make-A-Wave we're really not supposed to use electronics, but I think this is a good time to make an exception. So, actually, let me show you something. God's story, the Good Samaritan. So part of God's story is about a Good Samaritan, and it goes like this. When Jesus lived on Earth, he often told stories to teach us things. Stories that teach a lesson are called parables. One day, Jesus told a parable about a good guy from a place called Samaria, a good Samaritan, to a group of Jewish people. It all started when a Jewish expert in the law asked Jesus, what must I do to receive eternal life? Basically, he was asking, what do I have to do to be perfect? Since this guy was an expert in the law, he thought he already knew how to be perfect because he knew all the rules. He just wanted to see what Jesus would say. Of course, Jesus knew what the man was thinking, so he asked him, what is written in the law? The man said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus answered him by telling this story. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Everybody listening was Jewish, and they could probably all picture the exact road Jesus was talking about. He continued, a priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. You might expect a priest who was supposed to serve God to help, but he didn't stop. Then Jesus said, a Levite came to the place and saw him, but he passed by on the other side too. Levites were assistants to priests, so maybe you'd expect them to help too, but he didn't stop either. Finally, Jesus said, a Samaritan came along. Remember, a Samaritan is a person from Samaria. 
That's near Israel, where God's family, the Jews, lived. But here's the thing. Jews and Samaritans didn't get along. In fact, nobody hearing this story would ever expect the Samaritan to help because Samaritans and Jews couldn't stand each other. But Jesus said, when the Samaritan saw the man, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day, he took out money and gave it to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will pay you back for any extra expense you have. Then Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law didn't even want to say the word Samaritan, but he admitted the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. In other words, go and love everyone, even people we don't like or people who everybody else wants to avoid. See, when we show love, we're obeying Jesus. Obeying God doesn't mean just doing what his rules say. It means loving him more than anything and showing his love to every single person that we meet. And that's the story of the Good Samaritan. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. A man asked Jesus how to get eternal life. Jesus said, what is written in the law? The man said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. Then the man asked, who is my neighbor? Jesus told a story. If you missed Jesus' story, here's the quick, quick version. A Jewish man got beat up. A priest walked by. A priest assistant passed by. A man from Samaria actually did help. That was a surprise. Jesus had taught them, we obey God when we show love. And that's part of God's story. You see, in those days, the Jews and the Samaritans, they did not get along. The Samaritans were outcasts, but the Samaritan man, he saw someone in need and he didn't care if they were different. He showed kindness. Eli, that's what you did. You never treated me differently because of my allergy. You even stayed back for me. Aww. In the parable, the first two people that walked by, they should have shown kindness, especially because they were also Jewish. But they didn't. Just like here, some of the campers, including myself, we were not as quick to show kindness. Yeah, some of them even avoided me. Kind of like how you avoided me and the other sprouts. Oh! Yeah, my bad. <laughs> I think we all struggled with showing kindness today because of one thing or another. But what's important is that we learn our lesson and show kindness to everyone. What in the world is going on? Why are you guys back so soon? It takes at least two hours to go to Firefall Canyons. Well, while we were on the trail, Vera started to tell us the story of the Good Samaritan. And then we realized we treated Caleb as badly as the first two guys. Not the robbers, but the other ones. Sorry, Caleb. It's all good. I wasn't very kind to Eli and the other Sprouts just because they're younger than me. I'm sorry. Yeah, talking about Sprouts, I wasn't kind to you guys either. And I don't know, I just got a little bit nervous, but you guys turned out to be pretty cool peeps. Well, I was definitely super kind to the sprouts. Um, maybe a little bit too kind because she is like babies. Oh, sorry guys. Well, I guess we all needed a lesson in kindness today. Well, it's obvious that you guys have learned your lesson, which is why you guys are earning your Fruit of the Spirit badge kindness. Oh my God. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's go worship. All right. All right. Yeah. Oh. My heart is open to you, Lord. You can do anything with me, anything. Forever standing on your word. Jesus, you're all I want. Nothing else can satisfy my heart. Take all of me. Jesus, you're everything to me. Stronger than all my pain. I walk forever till I see you.
darkness, you're with me, you're with me. Whenever I'm failing or falling, you've got me, you've got me. Kids, I hope you are having the best summer and that you are earning those camp badges too by completing the Camp Make-A-Wave Survival Guide. This will be the challenge card for the rest of July, so be sure to complete 8 out of the 13 tasks to win some fun prizes. Also, feel that bus is back, meaning we are collecting school supplies for kids in need. That's your family mission, by the way. Oh, and something super cool is happening the last weekend in July, Summer Splash. We are going to celebrate the last week of Camp Make-A-Wave with tons of water games, fun, and excitement. So don't miss out!